Going live. You're live. We're live. Oh, that's TJ in the chat already. Look at him, eager beaver. Hello, TJ. Hello, TJ. Um, I've not put a post up or anything on Facebook. Have you posted to say we're live? Uh, nope. The or, the auto thing will uh, will fire one off in a minute. Yeah, but um, tish. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you're with us, say hello in the chat. TJ's already giving us a wave. So before we get into the games, I feel like if you haven't seen my Facebook post from earlier, there's some explanation as to how we ended up playing the theme that we're playing tonight. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Uh, we were dis debating what we should do. Andy suggested it should be something UK Games Expo related. I was like, well, hi, Danny. Hi, Dana. And I was like, well, do we, maybe let's just do something with British characters or UK theme. Because this weekend at the, at the event, we've got quite a few streamers um, doing some streaming. You're very quiet, apparently, Andy, according to TJ. And... So I said, let's do something with cards that have got British characters on them. And I gave Andy a list, and Andy was like, the Juggernaut's British too, and Professor X. I'm like, well, they're not. <laughs> they are. So I think our theme tonight is teams built around two characters that happen to be played by British actors. <laughs> That's the. I don't know how more obscure our theme can be, really. No, sure, sure. So uh, the camera's on you, uh, Andy, my man. If you do, you want to explain who your central character is and what what you got going on over there. Oh, well, that's a very good point. Techno, techno, something rather. Uh, the very rare OP card, then you can win it at the MOD PDM online at the UK Games Expo this coming weekend. It seems all right, but I've turned you up a bit. All right, cool. Let me know if it's better, uh, and I will continue with my uh, my team. So uh, it's based around Juggernaut. I uh, had a look through the Juggernauts. I can't believe, right, that there's no Juggernaut with Overcrush. You'd have thought that would have been staple. Anyway, it's a seven cost. It's nice and cheap. Um, once per turn, you may move one of your sidekicks to your use pile to give Juggernaut plus four attack and plus four defense. And he's six three seven four seven six, so he's not a slouch. So hopefully I'll be able to buy him, maybe. Um, so to add to him, I thought, well, if I've got a seven cost, let's go for two more. Uh, so I've got uh, <laughs> Sentinel Arch Villain. He is, when fielded, if your opponent has no villains in the field, knock out all opposing X-Men characters. Your opponent takes one damage for each character knocked out in this way. Uh, and then he's also got a global pay shield. One X-Men character must block this turn. Thought that might be quite handy. Um, I've also got Magneto Hellfire Club, uh, which is while Magneto is active, if your opponent has no villains in the field, he takes two damage each time he draws one or more dice from his bag. So again, I thought that was quite good. Um, going back to a more lower cost, I've got Toad Mortimer Toynbee. While Toad is active, when your opponent ends his main step, choose one opposing character who must attack this turn. And if Toad's on a burst face, that character takes two damage. Um, we've also got Pyro, St. John Allardyce. Uh, while Pyro, when Pyro blocked, is blocked even, he deals one damage to your opponent. So that's a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. Uh, I've got the Mystique that I've used a while ago, although I had to substitute the die because I could not find her dice anywhere, uh, which is Mystique gets plus one attack and plus one defense for each other character die in the field. So she could potentially build up to be quite big. Mm. Uh, I've got a uh, blob here, Frederick Dukes. He's got loads of text on. He's Intimidate. Um, blob may only use Intimidate on sidekick character dice. Blob's Intimidate ability affects all opposing sidekick character dice instead of affecting only one. Blob gets plus one attack until the end of turn for each sidekick character die affected by Blob's Intimidate ability. He's um, a problem for me. Yeah, I, I thought he was as much. Um, and uh, last but not least, my uh, character cards, I've got Dark Beast, Human Experimentation. 
And here's when Dark Beast blocks corrupt two. Target player draws two dice, places one and used, and returns the rest. If the die you place in the used pile is a psychic die, draw and roll a die. And then for the basic actions, I've got Hulk out, a beautiful Stuart Hulk out. Um, and a ta target character die gains overcrush until the end of turn. On a burst, he also gets plus one attack. And then I've got Superhero Registration Act. Draw and roll two dice. Instead, draw and roll three dice unless your opponent KOs an uh, opposing character die. They're all they're all right now getting a very exciting view of me uh, fiddling around with my sound control panel. Oh, okay, cool. How exciting. Yeah. yeah, enjoy this. Oh, it is a bit high. Let's bring that down a bit. TJ has pointed out in the chat that there's a bit of microphone bleed there hearing you. Oh, you just got louder for me. Have I? Louder? Louder. Um, so uh, apologies, folks, for that. I hope you enjoyed that little, little tour of my desktop. <laughs> right, OK, over to me then. So, yeah, that, that blob's got me wildly concerned because I'm going for a kind of sidekicky sort of thing. So uh, I've got Angel Inspiring here. When he attacks, your sidekicks get plus one, plus one. Uh, and then I've got Psylocke and my central character, Professor X. No more Magnus, um, who are going to get me loads of sidekicks out in the field. Uh, so that I can then attack with all those sidekicks and Angel. I actually intend on buying the Professor X as well for his little plus two defense bonus. I thought that might be quite fun. Oh. Um, so that's my, that's my kind of core bit going on. But just as a pivot backup piece, uh, I've got the Kitty Pride. Professor Xavier is a jerk. This character die cannot be blocked if it attacks with another X-Men character die. So I just thought chuck her in at the end if she's attacking while I'm attacking with Angel. She can go through for a little bit more. Um, I've got the Blackbird for a bit of ramp kind of discount. It's uh, Your X-Men characters cost one less to purchase and field for each unique X-Men character die in your field zone. Ooh. Which I thought might be handy because I've got a few painful... Um, per fielding costs up this end of the table, Professor X, and then also Jean Grey, Professor's protege. Dark Beast sounds like some sort of cider. <laughs> uh, while Jean Grey is active, when an opposing character dies fielded, deal damage to it equal to a level. So, pretty mean. Uh, then Mimic for a bit of removal, uh, and then Beast mutate 666 for hopefully a bit of extra ramp and churn. If you're attacking, block with him, prep some dice, you know. Um, cool. Then Wallop for the global and Resurrection for obvs reasons. Obvs. What's Wallop's yeah. global? Oh, uh, pay a fist, target blocked character die, deals no damage. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I've, I don't know. I don't, I'm not feeling as confident in mine, really. I'm hoping you don't ramp up. Mate, I've that's got the bottom. Three seven <laughs> costs. So I ain't gonna be like. That's that's the bottom line. I'm I'm hoping you don't ramp up, and, and I can kill you over ten turns with two attack One side sidekicks. Kick. Uh, none. I'll go. I'll go first. Well, now I'm being told my microphone's too noisy. I can't win. You can't win. Uh, no, right. I'll uh, pop over to you then. There we go. Screens on you, my good man. Here we go. Good luck, mate. And to you too. A sidekick. Two things there. Let's go for a dark beast. Mm. For two. Field sidekick. Roger that. Back over to me then. Um, field the sidekick. Let's and uh, buy a blackbird. Over to you. Thank you. Nice on top chat. Let me change that. There we go. Right, cool. Right, so four dice. Hmm. 
that's just reroll the three. Oh, all the masks. Still a psychic. Cool. Mm. So let's spend three. Oh, can't do that. That's not a mask. That was a shield, wasn't it? I oh, saved, was it? I, yeah, I saved a shield. I must have knocked it because my plan is to buy that. I feel like if I have roll, just cheated. Let me know, but I'm pretty sure it was a, a shield because I didn't roll a shield. I'm not concerned. It won't roll. True that. Actually, let's do one of the new ones. They're no, just as bad. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, lovely. I've got me Blackbird. That's going to help me buy that lot for cheaper. So, uh, let's get me Angel and Resurrect once. Early Angel. Mm. Yeah. Boop. Over to you. Boop. Tits. Right. One, two. Ooh, cheeky dark beast. And a blob. Wow. <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> Grr. Blobs don't roll. Big to differ. Oh, they don't even go in the flipping thing. They do roll. Gives me four and a blob. Boop, 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 boop. Um, what's he? Bolt. Yeah, I can do that. So the spend four on a pyro. Fill the blob. Intimidate out your sidekick. He gets plus one attack. Attack with the blob. Oh, all right. Uh, so that's two, is it? What level's he on? Oh, he's one on all faces, isn't he? Yeah, so two. One, two. There you go. I've taken the life counter off. That's Cheeky. Yeah, I know, isn't it? That's, uh, that's, he's going to be problematic for my sidekick-based team. <laughs> Four out of the bag. One in prep. I might have to go for Kitty Pride instead. I'll get some of these beasts out, maybe. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll pay one to field angel. I'll fire off the blackbird, which will then allow me to buy the beast for one mask, because I've got one active, unique X Men character die in the field. And then resurrect. I do like a, a strong bow dark fruits. <laughs> I, might have, I might have to uh, get some in for the, the weekend. Oof, I don't do cider. I mean, I like the taste of cider, but it gives me dicky tummy. Four. Remind me again, which pyro is that? When you roll when bolts. Py when pyro is blocked, he deals one damage to your opponent. Oh, right. It's not the one I thought it was. Okay. Do that. Could do that. Which means I could save that. Let's just roll that sidekick. Cool. So, you've got Professor X in a race, haven't you? So, let's... Wee oui, wee. Oui. Professor X in a sidekick. For the question mark by beast for those two and then I'll resurrect beastie oh hang on my sidekick's back <laughs> oh yes yes he is great 
So, uh, who, who in the chat's playing on Saturday? Might be interested in winning themselves one of these beauties. Not these exact ones, these are my copies, but one of these beauties over here. Very quiet in chat today. They are a bit quiet in chat today. I'm concerned. Are we still live? I haven't got the window open, so I can't even see if there's any, like, you know, if it's telling me connection bad or anything like that. We could have been disconnected for all I know. Uh, let me check. No, I think we're still all right. Maybe it's the audio. All that faffing about with audio. They're like, oh, no, don't want any part of that. No, it says excellent connection. True. They're just they're just chilling watching the game, mate. Just enjoying okay, cool. the just enjoying the gameplay. I'm going to assume. Uh, so I'll field my beast for free. Uh, do I just want more beasts? I haven't got a shield for res. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'll keep the masks. Yeah, I'll re-roll those two, actually. I'm going to do a re-roll first. Uh, the wooden spoon. The prized wooden spoon. I've got one. Danny, Danny, I know you're... No, I didn't get a shield. I know you're joking, mate, but that is actually possibly the most coveted item in the prize pool. You take your cable techno-organics and, you know, put them somewhere, because they're not, they're not considered... As prestigious as a miniature dice wooden spoon, that is for sure. Uh, right, now I'll field the beast. Um, I'll buy myself a Psylocke. And I will... No, I won't. I went I nearly villainous pacted then. <laughs> like a numpty. Uh, hang on, let me have a think about what's going on. So you're about to draw all your stuff, aren't you? Yeah. So I might not be able to field it. You might not be able to field it all. But making a sidekick might not be the best of ideas right now. Yeah, I'll make a sidekick. Whatevs. It's what not going to go back in. It's not going to end up going back into the bag. That's the. It's still pretty nasty though. Mm. Seven could have done with that res. Never mind. Uh, and that's it. I think. I don't know. Do I want to be attacking? What are they? They're all one ones. They, yeah, they're all sidekicks. Hmm. Pass turn. The cogs are turning. Uh, yeah. Oh. Us playing. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, on Saturday. No, oh, the weekend, not. yeah. Although I really want that cable, so I'm a little bit gutted that we're not. You can change your mind if you want. I'll invade the CRGR stream without you. So that's going to need one. That's going to need one. That's just going to leave me two. That could do that. Blobs don't roll. Do I tell you who I've had my eye on, card-wise, that I nearly put on this team, but I didn't. It's always like that kind of 11th card. Is that magic from X-Men Forever that stops your opponent from re-rolling more than two dice? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Still risky though, isn't it? What's he's got two on his top level, hasn't he? Oh well. Oh well. That answers that question. <laughs> yeah. And I get to keep my sidekicks, yay! Um <clears throat> That's gonna be boring. What's the Dark Beast do again? Is it the corrupt one? He's corrupt too. And That'd if be nice, plays... reset me back. <laughs> <laughs> if the die you place in the use pile is a psychic die, you draw and roll a die. Oh, that's handy, yeah. But I'll just target myself, surely. 
Uh, well, you choose, don't you? So yeah. when I draw my two out, you choose anyway. So. Well, no, no, don't. It says target player draws two dice, places one in the use and returns the rest. So either I can draw a die or you can draw a die. But you don't get to Wait. either. Wait, what? Say what? Let <laughs> um, me read it again. So it says, corrupt two, target player, so that would yep. be either me or you, yep. draws draws two dice, uh -huh. place, places one in used, and returns yep. the rest. That's corrupt, yeah? Yeah. So I get to choose who does it, but then... I think I think you also get to choose which dice goes where, if you target me. It doesn't say that. It says they place one in used and returns the rest. Oh, someone do a quick keyword check for us on that one. Well, I'll do that. I'm going to field my pyro. I'm going to field my dark beast. Um, then and when's got... his corrupt happen? Not now, when he's fielded, no? Um, when he blocks. When he blocks. <clears throat> so then I'm going to spend these two on a Hulk out. And then I'm going to use your resurrect. Pass priority to you. Uh, pass back. And attack with the Pyra. 4 2 Pyra. Yeah. So when he's blocked, he does me. One damage. One damage. Just blocked. Doesn't yeah. have to kill the character or anything, just when he's nope. blocked. When he's blocked. Uh, I will block him with my beast. Okie doke. Take the one damage. Um. Which means I get to draw two dice, place one in my prep area, and the other in my use pile. All right. Well, is that what your beast does? Yeah. So it does the same when, thing. Uh, when beast blocks, draw one die and place it in your prep area. Unless it's burst face, which is on. Instead, draw two dice, place one in your prep area, and the other in your use pile. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Not, not yours quite, is the dark beast. And... Yeah, nearly. It goes back to the bag. But, but so two similar. dice, one in prep area, one in use pile. pile. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's handy. And then uh, I'm going to use the Wallop Global so he doesn't die. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take one damage. I'll take, yeah, I'll take it. I'm on 17. Bish, bash, bosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dana's got the uh, update. Target player draws X dice from their bag. You choose one die, no matter how many dice are drawn, and place it in, in that player's use pile, and the rest returns to the bag. Looks like the controlling players get to pick each time. Oh, okay. He says controlling player. Do you mean the controller of the character? I think that's what he means. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, right. Pop Even more me. fun. Yeah, I, I remember seeing uh, some Tabaxi Rogue stuff going on with it, and people were, you know, doing shenanigans with with bags as well as doing the damage with Tabaxi Rogue. My Silox stays in the bag. Right here we go. So that's minus two discount if the Blackbird rolls. Now you see. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I love all these question marks though. And we roll these two. Ah, boo. Although, <laughs> that is six. Okay, there's one in the bag as well. Uh, right, let's make a sidekick. Come on. The whole point is to be doing this angel attacky thing, isn't it? Uh, I'll buy a Kitty Pride. No, I won't. I think I'm going to have another Blackbird, which will keep me one of them back, so that I can do the res and get the silo out the back. Keep the fist for my wallop. Um, so you're just all a bit too. We're gonna end up walling up here, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm that not gonna wall come. Wallop gets rid of overcrush, doesn't it? It's annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's kind of one of the uh, Becky Lynch counter globals, you know, that's knocking around. Um, cool looking card. Oh. Yeah, that's um, Miss Miss Marvel. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, maybe not. Who's she? Anyone know? Let me know. It's rare for me not to know who that is. Isn't it? Hmm. I'm guessing she's American, though. 
<laughs> yes, I think so. I don't know what gave it away. Over to you, my man. All right, these five. You got that cheeky fist. I do have my cheeky fist. So you I love think, it. I ain't going to get to a seven. Let's re roll that. Hey, got a six though. Um. Becky's favourite food is toast. Have you read that on her bio? My favourite food is toast. In milk, brilliant. I mean, it's awesome. You can put it in your tea, you can put it on your cereal. Uh, I'm going to make a side. Today, I shall mostly be eating boiled chickpeas. Uh, then I'm going to buy a Superhero Registration Act. Oh! Uh. Then I'm going to resurrect and then I'm going to pass Pawawate to you. Pass back! What? Yeah, all right. Uh, let's pop a sidekick in front of Pyro and let's pop the beast um, in front of the sidekick. So I'll do the whole beast shenanigans. Draw two. Oh! Fuck <laughs> All right. Well, one one's better than none, isn't it? At the end of the day. Um, Yarp. And then my psychic gets KO'd. I take one damage from the blocking. Takes me down to sixteen. That's how you're gonna kill me, just with a pyro for the next sixteen turns. Look forward to that one, chat. Uh. Oh. <laughs> right. I'm a bit, do you know what I mean? Right, I've only been on holiday for a week, but I feel like I'm a bit sort of all over the place with me, with me stuff. Not quite as slick as I feel like I might normally be. What, you, you're talking? I'm talking. You're not quite as slick with your talking or with your playing? Uh, the play, no, uh, like with the, doing the scoreboard and then switching the screen and uh. I was getting to a, a good place and... Now, I'm, now I don't feel like I'm quite as strong there. Oh, you got the blackbird. Yay, I got the blackbird. All right, so I'll fire off the blackbird. That'll let me field my Psylocke for free. That's also... Uh, characters cost one less to purchase for each unique character, so it's minus three to purchase. So I will buy myself a Jean Grey. Blob, I want to do stuff with my sidekicks, dude. Uh, I'll make a sidekick anyway. I'll resurrect, which will be one of them two. See that? Because I don't want you messing with my Jean Grey in the bag now with that bloody dark beast. Dark beast. So I don't want to be attacking. You know what I mean? Oh dear, what are you going to do? Yeah, great question, my man. Great question. Nice, nice. That's the one. That is the one. Oh. Sod it. Let's, let's do with the team what the team was supposed to be doing. I'll attack with Angel and three sidekicks. Okey doke. I'll put the beast in front of a sidekick. Mm hmm. Uh, I'll put the pyro in front of a sidekick. I'll put a sidekick in front of a sidekick. And I'll put. Mm. 
What's Pyro's defense? Don't forget those sidekicks are two two. Oh yeah, so they are. Let's not do that then, because he's doing the little chippy damage. Just put another sidekick up there. So I will. I think I'll take the three from Angel. Um, All right. The beast. What do I do there? Uh, so target player draw places one in used uh, returns the rest. Uh, you can do that. Right. Well, I've only got one dice in my bag, so it'll have to be like that, will it? Yeah. 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 Do that. Um, yeah. And then beast comes back. Two psychics. No. Happens. What's his defense? It's two. Well, these are oh. all two two. These psychics. All right. So he gets knocked out. They get knocked yeah, out. Yeah. Get out of it. And then if you can whiff him now, because he's annoying. Okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thanks, man. I know you'll accommodate. I'm sure. Uh, and that's got that's got you down to seventeen now, is it? Seventeen, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. Starting my turn early. Yeah, you're okay. That's cool. Over to you. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Right, let's get this seven cost four. Or not? Or not? Blob stoke roll. <laughs> Where is he? He's a shield. So that's one. Two, three. Ooh, what are you up to? Five. So that would be a stick. I've got that. Well, I still got to field that one. Mm. So that would be five. But then I can superhero six. So that could possibly be the seven. I ain't got a lot going on over here. I don't, you know, <laughs> if that makes a difference. I've got a Psylocke mm. and a beast. Let's keep that. I'm going to re roll the blob. First, well, actually, why? He ain't got any sidekicks. No, that's actually why I attacked, knowing he was coming down the pipeline. Let's keep him then. All right, so I'm just going to keep all of that. Um, I'll fire off superior registration act. Do you want to knock out a character? I've forgotten what he does. Is it prep or roll? Uh, roll. Uh, it's two if you knock out a character, or three if you don't. No, I have the three. Right, that's the three I don't see if it's going to make much difference while you've got six energy already in the reserve. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. Nine. So Ooh. that means I can field a sidekick. Field that for three. Yeah. Field that for one. Seven, so I'm gonna go for. Should I go for Magneto? Ooh. Sentinel. Or Juggernaut. Well, that, my boy, I don't know. Let's buy Magneto. So Magne nice. Magneto for what's the mask? So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Nice. Um, and a cheeky little resurrect. Nothing in the mm, bank. That, that is cheeky. I'll pass priority to you. Pass back. I'll take with a four, two pyro. And I will block with my one, two beast. Do your thing with the thing. Yeah, let me take the one off as well. And puts me down to 15. One, two. Uh, let's put Angel in prep and the sidekick in used. Cool. Still probably six in there, though. Uh, and then Beast dies as well. Pirate comes Poor back. Beast. Right, then. Here right. we go. Do Big it. turn now. Big turn now. It's going to be massive. One, two. There's Jean Grey. Three, four. Oh, no Blackbird, though. Got the other Blackbird. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Oh, Jean Grey on the three fielding cost. There we go. That's why we need Blackbirds, folks. Uh, masks I can work with. Question marks I can work with. Fist is handy. Don't like bolts. Three rollies. Angel. Oh. Right, well, let's field the beast first. 
Fire off the Blackbird, so I can then just pay one to feel Jean Grey. She's on level three, which is nice. Ooh, clever. I want to keep a fist, don't I? Where's Blob right now? He went back round, didn't he? Yeah, he's in here. So it's going to be uh, either next turn or the turn after. I'm going to buy a Professor X for three. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, two. Two. Yeah, that Blackbird's good, isn't it? It's all right. Well, with, with X-Men. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll make a sidekick. I'll resurrect. I should take one of these two out of here. That's one. Um, do I just buy another Psylocke? Uh, I'll get a Kitty Pride for one with a nice. discount of three. Yeah, there we are. Keep two fists for a bit of walloping. I'll pass priority. I'll pass back. I think I'll end my turn there. Okay. So the key thing now is when when you feel the character, Jean Grey's going to deal it three damage. What? Any character? When Jean Grey is active, when an opposing character dies fielded, deal damage to it equal to her level. Which is level three? Yeah. Core blimey governor. Yeah. Right. Let's see what I can find in there. One, two. I, don't know, I think your Magnetos and your Juggernauts are going to be alright though, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think you'll be okay. Hmm. Let's keep that reroll Superhero Registration Act. No. Ooh. No. You didn't roll your magneto. Oh. Thank you. Roll. Yeah, what's going on, chat? You are very quiet tonight. Roll. There we go. One, four, four. Any, anybody put any bets down as to. So I got in the bank. One, two, three, four, five. So Magneto, he does something for, to other villains now. Uh, while Magneto is active, if your opponent has no villains in the field, he takes two, he takes two damage each time he draws one or more dice from his bag. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take two damage because I've got no villains. Draw two. Yeah, every time you draw one or more dice from your bag. Right. It's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> Well, you know, you paid seven for it. It ought yeah. to be. Magneto comes out for one. He takes three damage. He's got one left. And then I'll pay for, for a toad. Nice. Um, pass priority to you. Pass back. Thanks, Dana. Uh, and then I'll attack with Pyro. Yeah. He's going to get... He's, he's, he's going to kill me, that guy. Uh, I will block with my beast. Do the thing. Take, thing. take the one. I'm basically paying a life to draw a dice here. <laughs> That's the, uh, so I draw two. I've got one in the bag. Oh, no, just one. Sorry, I've only got... He's not on burst this time. Uh, so I'll draw that blackbird and prep it. Cool. Uh, uh, and Beast is 2-3. Two, 2-3, three. Two, three. So Pyro goes. Yeah, get out of it, Pyro, you annoying. Well, I could wallop, couldn't I, and keep my Beast? 14 turns to go. Yeah, I'm going to wallop and keep my Beast. In, in the global window. Okay. Global. Right, here oh, we go. Over to you. Thank you very much. I really do wish I had... Put a Jubilee and a Boom Boom in here now. And I hope Summers. <laughs> I'm going to take 
two life on this now, aren't I? One, two, three, four. So That's Magneto cool. just pings me for two there like that. Yeah, it? with his magnet skills. Yeah. That is nightmarish. <laughs> Got a blackbird. Could do with the angel. Just call me Angel. I'll keep that Blackbird as energy. Keep that. I'll just reroll these two, I think. The morning. Ooh. Uh, so I'll field Angel for free. Uh, I'll fire off the Blackbird. It doesn't actually say to a minimum one, but I'm going to assume it's to a minimum one. <laughs> Pay one for a Mimic. He's probably going to come around me bag too late to get rid of um, Magneto. I'll pay a shield to Rez. Oh, Professor X, yay! Uh, I think I'll keep that two energy. Do copies take affiliations? Huh? Um, so sorry, yeah, I'll, I'll explain my thinking. So I bought the mimic to try and KO Magneto. Um, although that that kind of doesn't work in terms of timing, but I've just a thought occurred to me: if I copy Magneto, does my mimic then become a villain? We looked into this before, didn't we? Yeah, I'm sure we did. Uh... And does that then solve my Magneto problem? Mind you, I've got to roll it on a copy as well. Which is less likely. Because he's always going to be in the field at the beginning of my turn. That mimic's pro actually probably not the best purchase. Oh, sure. I'll have a look. Uh, copy, copy, copy. Copying well, is very complicated. It's so complicated. It's not in the flipping keyword section anymore, is it? No. It's got a big old ruling on it. What is it? How does the chat feel about the copying rules? I'm, I'm trying to sort of get some life out of them. They're snoozing today. Um, I'm going to say that it does. Yeah, I've got a feeling that it does. I feel like we've looked at this before for another affiliation-related reason. And it came up. Uh, right, now I need to decide whether I'm attacking with my angel or my sidekick. <clears throat> Kitty Pride's in the bag. It's a risk. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Sorry, they're down there. Um, I will move to the attack step and attack with my sidekick and angel. So two sets of two, two, basically. See, that's Jean Grey's doing my nutting because she's going to stop me from doing loads of stuff. <laughs> Just like that Dark Beast was doing my head before. It's weird, isn't it? I think that I think they're actually. I mean, clearly, it's nice to see that the two sets of teams are built as intended to be thorns in each other's sides. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does include the affiliations. Thanks, Dana. And chuck the two type beasts in front of them. Right. Okay. So first things first. Let's do your thing, then, shall we? So um, you do your first. Do one. So I draw two. One, and then I pick one to go into. Use the one to go back in your bag. I suspect you'll want the Kitty Pride in you. Yeah, Kitty Pride in yeah. used. So I can go around the bag. bag. And then well, there's going to be one. two sidekicks now, no, mate. No, no, I'll, I'll target myself oh. for this one. Ooh. Uh, one to used. And that'll yeah. get you an extra prep now, will it? Because um, you put uh, a sidekick in. Yes, yeah, so that's right. Uh, if you see on a burst, I know it doesn't matter. There's no burst on any of them. You can all that. Yeah, so I get to draw and roll a die. Watch this be the uh, action. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Great. Nice. Yeah. Who are you hulking out? <laughs> that works well. Um, and then we're all we're all KO'd, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely done, my man. Nicely done. Oh, I'm not gonna have a blackbird in me, ready to go to deal with this Professor X's fielding costs. Fielding costs. Mm. Right, my go. Let's see. Yep. Let me just put the screen on you. There you go. There's three. 
no sidekicks. But okay, well let's have, rolled. have him. Have that. No way. And have that. Because they won't be able to field anyway. Uh, we'll have that. So that's five, six, seven. No way. <clears throat> well, hang on. You're not, you, oh, you're not going to field your blob anyway because they ain't got no sidekicks. Yeah, it leaves me a little bit vulnerable, but... Well, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not doing big numbers though, am I? I'm doing like little four, six attack, six point attacks over three characters. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Just roll this blob again. He'd be handy on a shield for a res. There you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could do Very whatever good. I want. I've got quite a bit of chaff in my bag. But hey ho, so let's go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and by the sentinel this time. Nice. He, he hates on X-Men as well, doesn't he? He does. When fielded, if your opponent has no villains in the field, knock out all opposing X-Men characters. Your opponent takes one damage for each character knocked out in this way. I'm feeling a little targeted here. Feeling a bit penalised by these vicious, villainous... Well, I got lots of villain hate. There probably is lots of villain hate. I just didn't notice it. <laughs> Um, what does that Psylocke do? Uh, energize. Okay. I can feel the sidekick when she hits Energize. And Jean Grey's 6-6, six, six, is that right? C. Sacred Blur. All right. Um, I will res a dice out of the bag. Let's clear, start clearing it out. And for this turn, I'm going to pass priority to you. I'll make a sidekick. And turn. Okay. Uh, I've only got four sidekicks in my bag now, which is a bit miserable making. All my good, good stuff's there. Take two damage, please. Oh, yeah. I'm down to ten. This is getting, it's getting hairy. I love this direct damage stuff. <laughs> is it direct damage or does it take life? Uh, I don't know. Take two damage. Take two damage, yeah. Uh, sidekicks are good. I'll re-roll these. Oof. That was close. <laughs> Okay, I'll field the three sidekicks. Pay one to field the angel. Pay one to field the Professor X. Wow. That's a little bit scary. Uh, yeah, it's starting to come together a little bit. P Professor X, thankfully, on level one. I'd have had a fielding cost problem with those blackbirds tucked away up here. And I didn't get a res. I could have run with a res to get them back round. But them's the breaks, I suppose. They're down there. Um, I'll pass priority. Oh, I've done all that off screen. Jesus, Aye. there you go. So there's me, Professor X. I fielded three sidekicks and an angel. I'll pass back. Uh, you've got. You're going to use me wallop global, aren't you? Yeah. You've only got two though, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, Angel, four sidekicks, and a silo. Okay, doke. So all my sidekicks have got plus two defense now from Professor X as well. Cool, so they're super hard. Yeah, they're two, four. <laughs> two, two, four. 
Right. Um... Only when Angel attacks with them. He gives them yeah. plus one, plus one when he attacks them. So I'll put the 4-4 four, four Magneto in front of... Uh, Psylocke. Yeah. I'll chuck a couple of sidekicks in front of the others and take three... Seven? Uh, which ones? You, who are you blocking? Psylocke, Angel, three, four. Uh, no, not the no. Angel. Uh, two of the sidekicks. Two of the sidekicks. So uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Cool. And then I'll wallop the two sidekicks so everyone can comes back. Yeah. Cool. If there. Level what level is he? Level two. Level one. Level one. Level two. Level three, level three, yeah. Uh, right, there you go. Ten, ten. <laughs> Let me just whittle that down. Crikey. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four. Ooh, what are the defense numbers on Toad? He's quite tough, isn't he, on the ass. Mm, one, two, four. One, two, I need four. Him on level, I need him on level three, which is then two field him. No, it'd be all right on level um, level two, won't we, with a four defense? No, no, one, two, four. Oh, one, two, four. Sorry, I don't know why I heard that the way I heard it. Do <laughs> 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 um, I try for it though? In for a penny. What's the worst that can happen? I get on level one. Ah. Um, right, so first, let's superhero registration act. Do you want to knock out a character? Yeah, I'll knock out Psylocke. Cool. Right, so two, so that's one. Come on, the Sentinel. Oh, that's useless. Oh, that's not good, actually. Never mind. Probably want to keep them fists. So I will overpay to field the toad. He gets knocked out. Feel the Dark Beast, he gets knocked out. Well, I can see you getting up to another seven cost at this rate. <laughs> I, might, I might have just handed you the ramp solution that you needed. <laughs> I'm going to res. It don't matter, Magneto will kill me. That leaves two wallops. But I'm starting to get a little bit worried. You might eat it. Right, over to you. Angels in here though, mate. It's um, I've got a very heavy sack now. Oh, hang on, let me take the two now. Okay, take the two and change the screen. Yeah, I've done the screen. Perfect. Your mouse is being all a bit funky. <laughs> right, one, two, blackbird, three, four. Oh, and a kitty pride. That's quite handy. Or not. Uh, keep the mask. She's no good on energize. Well, there's nothing in use. I'll reroll all that. Eee. That yeah, I didn't get me Kitty Pride though, which is a bit disappointing. Which is a bit disappointing indeed. And no res. So I'm in a bit of trubs here. Uh, I'll field Silo for free. She's on level two. Field the sidekick. Got your blobbing prep, haven't you? Uh, I'll fire off the blackbird to buy another kitty pride for one. But I'll pay for it that way around. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm a bit, maybe I should buy another, get around to buying another angel, actually, at some <laughs> point. <laughs> 
Look at that bag, man. Two, four, six, seven dice there. Magneto will kill me before I can even get anything happening. I've got like a six dice combo going on here. Um, and you got the two wallops ready to go anyway. Lobbing your bloody prep area too. Uh, so I'm going to move to the attack step. And I'll go three side kicks. And a side up. Uh, side kick in front of Psylocke. Side kick in front of side kick. Magneto in front of side, uh, for side kick. So I take or not. One, yeah. And I'll do the thing with the thing so they'll come back. Some yeah. wallop. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Right. Uh, 9-8. Oh, it's close. Now. One, two. No, I don't think it is. Three, four. Oh, there's a sentinel. Look at that. One oh. sidekick. That'll six, finish me off, six, that sentinel. Six characters. <clears throat> Right, <laughs> so that's interesting. I want that as energy. I want that as a character and that as a character and those as energy. <laughs> so it's completely the opposite as what I wanted. <laughs> well, I, do, will the Sentinel get rid of my Jean Grey and then you can follow up by fielding them afterwards? I need to, I need to field him. He's, he could be uh, two. Right, right. Got you. So I probably want to... That'll do me a five shot ping as well if that goes off. Yeah. And then the blob could do another one. Um, I'm going to keep the blob just in case it goes completely wrong. I think I'm going to keep it as energy. So at least I can field some stuff. If that sentinel goes off, that's game. I'm on eight. So we would kill all my X Men. And I'd only have one, two blockers max. And you'd need to get three attack together. There we go. <clears throat> there he is. There he is, yeah. So, let's play it through. So I've got that. I've got loads of energy. I've got another seven there. Um, so, let's play... Play a fist. Field the sentinel. Five five sentinel. That'll Knocking kill them all them, won't it? Yeah. Knocking them all out. And do your four. Do your four. Will it kill my sidekick as well? Just the X Men, is it? KO yes, KO uh, opposing X Men characters. Yep. Yeah. Um <clears throat> then I'll field the pyro. Yeah, you definitely got it. And I pay that to field that dude. Yeah. And then what are you on? I'll make a sidekick. I'm on four. I've got two blockers, so I think you should you should definitely be able to get four yeah. through there, shouldn't you? Even if I block the two big ones. Cool. Attack step. Five. Yeah. Five five three two. No. Four, five five four four three two three one and two one ones. Yeah. Yeah. So you block those two. So if I do the two three, big ones, six, yeah, yeah. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Bash, bash, bash. Evil wins. Mm. A villainous victory. The Al Sentinel. There you go. Who'd have thought I'd win from a UXM Sentinel? <laughs> seven cost. Some... Seven cost it's... UXM Sentinel, no less. Yeah, the, man, you had a few opportunities by the seven costs. So there is it. Uh... Who'd have thunk it? Yeah, it's quite cool. So my, it's more my strategy of hoping you don't oh. roll yeah. <laughs> didn't pay off. <laughs> these, these more themey, um, longer games gives us the chance to like stretch for the uh, completely useless in any form of competitive cards. Like the that Magneto, super strong, but you never get him. Seven cost, 
But once yeah, you've yeah. got him out there, I mean, he'd be quite cool on a modern, uh, a golden, <clears throat> golden team. He got Asuka to get him down to five. And then if they've got no villains in the field, you're... Uh... Yeah, I think the thing is, though, you could... Uh, the, the distinction there is you knew that I wouldn't have any villains. Yeah. Um, and the Sentinel as well, you knew... Uh, uh, I was going to have X Men to go for, whereas in a in say a, a single affiliation, well, a single affiliation might work, wouldn't it? I mean, maybe not the Sentinel, but the Magneto for sure. Yeah, unless you come out with villains, in which case you don't bother to stretch for the seven. It's not too. Yeah, you'd you'd go for I don't know a Mystique or something instead, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Although I think actually Pyro won you the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twenty turn pings one. <clears throat> yeah. I was. Uh, I don't know where I went wrong. This Blackbird's nice, though. I, I mm. feel like maybe I should have been using it more on X-Men teams. Really good. And we did agree not to go for anything super powerful because else you could have rocked up the, you know, we- formerly Weapon 10, Boom Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jubilee. Hope, Rachel combo. Yeah, and it, and it would have been a, a different story. Yeah, although after after teasing you earlier, I was like, oh, actually, Jubilee might be a pretty good fit for this. I think you start turning it into my, um, my team of a couple of years ago. Have the other mimic, Professor X mimic. Yeah, he's not. Um, the other mimic's not an X Men though, is he? Oh, is, is he, he not? Ex- he's X. Um, X-Force. Exiles or X Force, yeah, which which yeah. one it is, yeah. But it's still fit this... within the theme, though, wouldn't he? I don't think this Psylocke works. Every time, I, every time I kind of had a round to roll, I never had any bloody sidekicks in the in the use pile to grab. Yeah. That's because you raise it out, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think she was a good fit, really. But I was trying to put that other British character on. Plus, I love the artwork on this card. It was flip yeah, screen back over to me, like with this, uh, like with a little bit of kind of psychic energy coming off the sword and a and a sort of butterfly thing and the and the kind of waist scarf. I don't know, just just really dynamic picture in it. Nice. Got lots going, a lot of energy. Um, well, although this angel, he could be a contender for another WTF artwork one. He looks weirdly shaped. Look. <laughs> yeah. They're really weirdly shaped. It's like a triangle man. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, anyway. Oh. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have run dashed for the kitty prides. <clears throat> yeah. No, it's cool. It took a while. Live and learn. Swank swang one way then the other and then back again. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't feel like I was mauled or anything. Um, I had you down to nine. I could have a, a well placed mimic or something. Things could have gone very differently. I'm 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 cool with the outcome. Awesome stuff. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, so quick reminder, folks. UK Games Expo this Saturday. Sign up deadline is Friday at seven p.m. British Summer Time. Um, that's for registration and team submissions. So if you've not signed up yet, get yourself signed up. Loads of great prizes. Head on over to BritRollerSits.com to take a look at all the awesome stuff we're giving away, the least of which is excellent things like these Alt-Art Animated X-Men promo cards, uh, the Techno Organic that Andy was, the Cable Techno Organic that Andy was mentioning earlier. Which is amazing. <laughs> yeah, we've got playmats. We've got foil promos that have only been awarded at national level championships in there in the prize pool. Yeah, I'm uh, sure got... some of them haven't been available over in the UK as well. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Pretty sure that Professor X has never been awarded over here, so uh, that'd be that's nice. We've got some of these uh, special limited edition CR Game Room token dice. Uh, limited edition because they've got the MOD symbol and the uh, Freddie Mercury on the God Catcher there. We've got um, online board games. Yeah, Steam cold. Steam codes for Carcassonne Patchwork and Splendor, which I think is pretty amazing. And thanks to the UK Games Expo for those. Uh, the playmat, of course, for the first place. The dice tower, the dice tray, um, and loads of other promos and odds and sods going on in there. Uh, and a special surprise, special Ooh. surprise gift for the Andy's Gauntlet and yeah. the Fellowship Award. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. See some. Hopefully, we'll see a bit more creativity from you guys, and we won't be watching Godcatcher versus Becky for eight hours straight, or however long it's going to be. 
yeah, maybe someone could run a you know a Psylocke sidekick team. Yeah, or, or, or a Magneto. Or a Magneto, yeah. Or, or, or technically be cheating. Um, yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, yeah, the UK Games Expo playmat is super cool. Very jealous. It's got Banana Man on it. What more could you want? This playmat here. Oh, whack, whack it out. Oh, look at that. There it is. There it is with the uh, UK Games Expo Champ 2020 in the corner there to commemorate your achievement. Here's Psylocke, who I was explaining to Andy earlier on is a Japanese ninja, but with a British um, other person consciousness inside of her. Obviously. Obviously. Captain Britain in the centre here and Captain, uh, King Arthur and Merlin, of course. Of course. Legends of British, I was going to say history. <laughs> but I don't know if they're of mythology, I should say. The Black Knight. Who's he? So he's a, a Marvel character, the Black Knight. Uh, in fact, there's a Black Knight uh, movie coming out in the MCU, and Kit Harrington, you know Jon Snow from Game of Thrones? Yeah. He's going to be playing him. I've never heard of him. Never heard of the Black Knight? No, no well, not other than like <laughs> from going to medieval things as a kid. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Constantine, yeah. I know who he yeah, is. Yeah, John Constantine. Yeah, we got Alfred Pennyworth here. Very fa obviously a very famous British comic book character, Jack Staff. Who's that? No idea who that is. No, well, he's a yeah, he's a British comic book character. Is it Mar Marvel not... or? No, no, it's um. Oh Jesus! Well, back in the day, it was like um, it was published by the guys who did Dan Dare. So... Oh Christ! On a bike, that is old. Yeah, but I don't know who owns it now. I'd have to check into that. Obviously, Judge Dredd, 2000 AD, although it's actually 2020 MOD. Obvs. Like Obvs. that. I don't even notice also, that. Also says up here for MOD and Camelot. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, the Demon Entrigan. Um, what? Who... What does that? What does that even mean? So the Demon Entrigan, it, you see him here in the corner. Let me just put him more on camera. So this guy behind him, Jason Blood, he's a British guy, and the Demon Entrigan has possessed him. What, like Jekyll and Hyde? Uh, no, more like an actual demonic possession. Oh. Uh, he needs to speak yeah. to Constantine up in the other corner. Uh, they know each other very well, actually. They've done oh, many crossovers. Know. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, a special little Ministry of Dice symbol in the UK Games Expo colours. Yeah. So there it is. There's that playmat, Danny. There's that playmat. That could be yours. That's the only version of this playmat as well. There's one. The design is on one of my playmats um, with all the British characters, but I've changed it. Um, and certainly my copy doesn't have the UK Games Expo Champ 2020 listed on it. So there you go. Exclusive, limited, one of a kind. And thank you to Patriot Games for their help with that one. Oh, they did that. That's cool. Uh, yes, they did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and keep an eye out. On BritRoller6.com for more MOD stroke Patriot Games related stuff in the future. That's a little uh, teaser, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've always got an iron in the fire, my friends. Well, you know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> for the viewers, always got an iron in the fire. So there we are. Yeah, so please do come along. We're at 22 registered players now, so it's going to be definitely. Uh, a good session of play to get your Dice Masters in. And don't forget, we've got the raffle, um, participation raffle. So all of the players outside of the top three, who are obviously getting the top three prize pool, um, will earn a raffle ticket for each game won on the day. So we're playing best of three. So in theory, you've always got a chance of, uh, even if you lose the round, you might be able to eke out a win. That'll earn you a raffle ticket to get entered into the draw. And we've got loads of stuff in the draw as well. Um and we're removing the top three from that raffle too. So uh, everyone from position four down to 22, even if you just win one game, you may have an opportunity to win a little bit of swag as well. That's a lot of postage. Yes, well, um, that is uh, is the case. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to have to swallow a little bit of the price of that. But we've also had some contributions, some donations made to help with the cost of stamps, padded envelopes and um, thingy cards, backing card, uh, what are they called? Card protectors. Car protectors. Um, so, yeah, we've we've had some donators help out with that, which, of course, is awesome. That is well awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, we didn't want to charge a fee, did we? But No. Nah. Um, but, 
I can't. I, I, yeah, you're right. It would be a lot of postage if I if I swallowed it whole. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So pretty much, you're going to get. You're more than likely going to get something out of it, as well as a fun evening or day if you're wherever you are in the world. Yeah. Of, of Dice Masters. So come and join us. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think uh, if nothing else, I'll ask the chat to give us a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, and we'll catch you next Wednesday, if not Saturday, uh, for our next live stream game. Cool beans. All right, take it easy, folks. Bye, -bye. Oh, hang on, it's doing that thing. Are you sure you went in the stream? Yes, I'm sure. There you go. There we are. Lovely. <laughs>